Calimera, Mr. Farby. El piso nine I cala. That was a very clumsy way of me saying hello in Greek, and you probably didn't understand it, but I did say, how are you today, I think. Anyway, you posed a question to us, how to get the size and alignment of text correct in a speech bubble. Now, I'm going to use Inkscape to show you how to do this, and the reason for that is Inkscape is a vector program, and you can resize the text, or indeed images, to any size with no loss of quality. So that will answer one of the questions. Use a vector program to do that. If you use a raster program like GIMP or Photoshop, and you increase the size of the text, it will pixelate. You will need to download Inkscape, if you haven't already, and once you've downloaded it, open up the window and this is what you will arrive at. So what I have subsequently done is to import an image and to do that very quickly, although this is not a tutorial about that, file, import, select the image from your computer and there you have it. Uh, I've also imported a speech bubble and I know that you know how to create those so I'm not going to go into that either. So we need to now, first of all, create some text. And to do that, on the toolbar on the left-hand side, click on the A, which is the Create and Edit Text, and then click anywhere on the desktop. And now I'm going to type in the text I want, which is, I think, it helps if you can spell it correctly, Davina looks like... I'm going to choose another line, because I'm just quite mindful of uh, the width of the bubble looks like the boss in these dark glasses exclamation mark okay that's it now i want to slightly move that bottom line so to do that we first of all need to select it and we do that using the select tool which is this one here click on that that then places handles around the text so just with your mouse grab hold of it Oh, let's put it like that, um, because I want to show you how to align it. So, to, to do that, to align both of these in whichever way you want, first thing to do is to select both of them, and the easiest way is to, holding your left mouse down, draw a sort of a rubber band, or throw a rubber band around them both. You can see that they're both selected by the handles there. So let's apply some um, font style to that. You do that by going up to the T. Click on that. Let's move that out of the way. And I'm simply going to use Arial. And if you click, that my default is Vedana. But if you click on there and then just start to type in, you see it'll automatically go to Arial. I think I want bold. And then click Apply. You can do the layout here, but I'm going to show you a, a little more sophisticated way of doing it. So close that there. So now we've got the text in bold and in the font we want, which is Arial. To align these two, I'm going to go up to the Align and Distribution tool, which is just up here. So click on there, and this dialog box appears. And what we're going to do is align it to the red line. Can you see that there? And if I click on that once I've selected the text, then the text aligns to the left. Let's try it to the right, align to the right, or indeed align on the central axis. I think that's what we'll keep it at, so let's get rid of that. I think that probably is going to be fine. Again, to select it, draw the rubber band around it and if you want to increase the size of it once you've selected it just grab hold of one of the handles and start to pull and you see it's as simple as that and because it's a vector image it's vector text it won't pixelate so there we go let's go back to that I still want to move I think this uh, bottom line of text up so select it and then I just tend to use the um, arrow keys on the keyboard and nudge it up a little bit further. Select both and then grab hold of the text and simply move it over to the centre of the, the bubble. And that's really all there is to it, Anthony. I, I hope that that's answered your question. If it hasn't and you do have any more questions, then please come and ask us on the wall. Or, of course, you can... Uh, sorry, the Facebook wall. Or, of course, you can email us at sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com. But until next time... Bye for now.